Hello Year One, I hope that you are all doing really, really well and had a lovely weekend. Today in Maths we are going to be continuing with our Multiplication and Division unit and we are going to be learning about doubles. So before we start our learning, please can you write your short date 11 05 2020 and the LI to double numbers to 20. For this lesson all you will need is your workbook and a pencil. So just before we start, we'll have a recap of some different um, bits of learning that we have done. How many fingers are there all together? And instead of counting them one by one, could you try to count in fives or tens? Is this glass full or nearly full? And who is taller, Timmy or the dolphin? Pause the video to complete this. The answers are... There are 20 fingers, so you could have counted in fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty or in tens, 10, 20. Well done if you got that correct. The glass is nearly full, so it's not full because we can still fit a little bit of liquid in there. And the dolphin is taller than Timmy. Well done if you got those correct. Now what does double mean? Pause the video to tell your adult if you think you know. Double means that we are adding two equal groups together. So for example, double two, so two and two, double two is four. One, two, three, four. Two add two equals four. So here I have two apples, so I'm going to get another two apples. Two add two equals four. Here I have two fish in my fish tank. So double means that I have to get another amount that is the same, so I need another two. So I have two, so I need another two. And that will give me four. So two, one, two, three, four. All together I have four. But we can look at this in a part whole model. So we have two parts and they are the same. So we know that our parts will be two and two. Double two is four. So instead of always saying it as a number sentence, 2 add 2 equals 4, when we are doubling, we can also say double 2 is 4. 2 add 2 is 4. These are different ways of showing our double. What is double 3? This time we have 3 fingers. 3 add, what will we be adding if we are doubling? Another three, three add three, so our parts in our part whole model are three, make six. Three add three, one, two, three, four, five, six, and your whole is six. So our sentence will be double three is six. Three add three equals six. Now it's your turn. What is double five? Can you write your sentence, double five is, and then tell me the answer, write your number sentence, so five add something equals something else, and complete your part whole model. Pause the video to complete this. Your answers are double five is ten. So you can have two parts of five, and your whole is ten. Five add five equals ten. Double five is ten. Five add five equals ten. Well done if you got that correct. Now, if you are in Mrs Coker and Miss Thurlow's phonics groups, here is your activity for today. So we are just going to be doubling some numbers. We have the numbers one, four and six. Can you show them doubled in your part whole model? So remember, your parts will be the same and then you add them together to make your whole. Write your sentence, double one is something else, double four is something, double some six is something else, and then write your number sentences. So if you are in Mrs Coker and Miss Thurlow's phonics groups, can you pause the video to complete this activity? If you are in my phonics group, Miss Morgan's phonics group, this is your activity. It's, so it's the same, but just with some different numbers. Pause the video to complete this. And if you are in Miss Zadie or Mrs Meta's phonics, please can you keep watching. Now we are going to do something tricky if we are in Miss Zadie or Mrs Meta and Miss Puth's phonics. What is double 11? Now adding 11 add 11 can be really hard in our head. Here I have the number 11 with a 10 stick and a 1. I have 1 10 and 1 1. I have it in my part whole model, but it's really hard to add 11 and 11. 
even with our tens and ones. So what we are going to do is take our tens and add them together first. 10 add 10 is 20. And we know that because when we are counting in tens, it goes 10, 20. And then we have two ones left. So one add one is two. And then we can add our tens, 20 and our ones, two to make 22. So 11 add 11 is 22. Double 11 is 22. 11 add 11 is 22. Well, that's a bit tricky, so you might have to go over it again with your adult. But here is your activity. If you are in Miss Zadie and Mrs. Meta or Miss Hoots phonics groups, here are your numbers. Complete your part whole models, your double sentence, and your number sentence. This is the um, problem solving activity. Complete the table by doubling each number and see if you notice a pattern with your answers. And now it is time for our shout outs. So we've had lots and lots of children sending in our work over the weekend. So well done to Sophia in Klee class for her work with arrays and um, she did her reasoning activity. Well done, Sophia. Well done to Dahlia as well. And to Tommy, well done, Tommy. Now remember to send your work to the year one email address so that you can be in a shout out and to let your teachers see what you've been doing at home. Have a good day.